Welcome back to the vlog. This is vlog 18. We've got plenty to do today. First things first, I'm going to put this stand on mower back. We won't be needing this today. I just realised the mower that I will be needing though is actually at home, not, uh, not where it should be. <laughs> anyway, let's dump this stuff. We're going back to that place that hasn't been landscaped that I quoted on the other day you may have seen in the vlog. If there's any rubbish in there or yeah, it's a, again, the length doesn't scare me. It's just the, if there's all that sort of garbage in there. How did you find me? Oh, I, I look at those videos you have. Oh, do you? I'll make a video of doing a quote then. What about if you haven't seen it, there's plenty of vlogs to watch. If you're into this sort of stuff, we're also going back to the Fremo Fridays place to collect all the grass, uh, which unfortunately will sit on the back of the ute for a couple of days. But the vlog you see after this, hopefully I'm going to the Green Waste facility to do a tour of that. That'll be interesting to see what happens to the grass, what happens to it from when you put it into your green bin to where it ends up. Now I did put out a new full Fremo Fridays video a couple of days ago, just for some clarity, a few people are getting confused. If the video is titled vlog, it's just this what's happening in my day sort of video. Uh, if it's titled Fremo Fridays, it's a full uh, Fremo Fridays cleanup, so hopefully that helps. I know the vlogs aren't for everyone, but it seems like there's a dedicated little audience there that seem to be enjoying them. And I don't think I'm that important or my days are that interesting that I need to be uh, videoing everything I do, but it's kind of a fun process. It's kind of like a little video diary sort of thing for me. It gives me more of a chance to talk to you guys, answer questions. Uh, and show you what really goes on. And I think it just helps me as well um, telling a story through a video, which sounds weird, but um, for me, that's something I want to get better at. We're gonna take the Milwaukee dual battery trimmer again. I want to uh, film with that. I want to use that as much as I can because I've only got it for about a week or something. So use it as much as I can for the review. Now I just got to shoot off home and grab the mower I need. Luckily, it's not too far. Don't do this to me. Where are my sockets? Probably need some new blades, but I'm just gonna give them a quick sharpen. And we're gonna tilt the mower back just like Aaron taught us in another vlog. Done. So, yeah. so my brick, if I need to get to the blades, I should tilt the handlebars back. 100%, so yeah. always, if you obviously wanna work up underneath to look at the blades or, or do blade changes, handlebars to the floor. There we go. Took a little bit of convincing. Nasty looking, but hey, we're gonna give them a quick sharpen. It's about to get absolutely thrashed anyway, so I'm not too concerned. I'll just use this flat disc. I need some more of them too, so that's something else I gotta get. Now I definitely don't care about how pretty perfect these things are because as I said as I'm about to throw it into the wild we'll give it a quick touch up all right god it's getting warm I guess it's better than the rain Right, the front's not too bad. Back's a little worse. Oof. Ooh, a bit wet here. Oof. Lots of clay. Uh, yeah, we'll start out the front. Now the reason I brought this mower, it's great at getting through uh, thick and long stuff. It just throws it out the side. A lot of people might just hit it with the line trimmer, the whole thing, and just slash it down. But um, I just find you more chance of doing damage to windows, cars, etc. with that. This throws it out a bit more conservatively, in my opinion.
thought the vlog when I came and had a look at this place, I did say even if people think there's nothing in the grass, or these building blocks, there is always stuff. So yeah, that's why that's so good. Knocks down stuff like that pretty much with ease. Just gonna ask the neighbor to move their car while I trim. I don't want to uh, blast something at it. I'm just about to start using the whipper snipper there. Okay. And I don't want to damage your car. Do you maybe want to park on the other side of the road or something? Sure, sure. I just don't want to hurt your car, that's all. No worries. So that thing does rip. Yeah, it looks a thousand times better. Now this hasn't been landscaped yet, so this isn't grass or anything, this is just what has grown. It will be landscaped at some point, this was just to tidy it up. Alright, I might just rip through with the whip here. When I say rip through, be very careful. Lots of rocks and everything. Oh. Here's the back. Very, very thick. It's laid down, but it's very, very thick. Let's have a look at the difference using the line trimmer. Looks like the line trim is going to be the way to go, but we're going with some uh, two-stroke power because the those two amp hour batteries are done from uh, you know doing out the front and the side. Obviously, if you were uh, using it at that sort of volume, you'd have a few more batteries and rotate them. But uh, it's just a demo, so I've only got the two. I know it probably looks long on camera, but it doesn't really show what happens when you get under the leafy stuff. The leafy stuff is easy to get rid of. Look at this down here. That lateral growth. Look how wet it is too. So much moisture in it. So thick. Now is probably a good time to tell you I'm definitely not the world's best slasher. I generally like to let the mowers do the work. But uh, yeah, we're getting through it slowly. Look at the quality of the fences around here, and I'm, I spoke to the owner about it. We both had a laugh about it already. Look at the post, just sticking up there. That's not even plumb. Look at that section there, lovely. <laughs> 
more posts. The scammers around here that do fencing and retaining walls are awful. All right, I'm just gonna run over it with the utility mower now. That'll blitz it up a bit better. But it's already looking a thousand times better. So that is about as good as it's gonna get for this cleanup. There's certainly no lawn detailing here, but at least they now have a backyard. All right, just got home. It's 3 p.m. Sunday afternoon, so I'm not gonna go out to pick up the grass for that Freebo Friday's job. I'm gonna leave it for, um, I'm back at work tomorrow, then the day after, I hope then, because I'm going out to the um, green waste facility that day anyway to film what happens there. So make sure you're following for that. Ideally, I'd like to just have a play in my yard, which has been neglected for a couple of reasons. Sir Granger's doing fine, looking beautiful. The cooch though, I've just let that sort of to go and rot. And the main reason for that is uh, it's got a bit of fungal stuff going on, as does the Kaikuyu out the back. Um, I've got someone coming that's gonna spray for that. The reason I want them to come out and someone else do it is they offer a full range of services like fertilizers and herbicides, full range of lawn care stuff that uh, not everyone wants to do all that stuff some people just want to be able to cut the grass so i wanted to show you guys some options that you have if you don't want to play with all the fertilizers and all that sort of stuff so hopefully they're coming out next week i can get it sprayed and then uh, i don't know in a bit after that i'll do a height reset on the cooch get it looking fresh again that'll probably do us for today if you like these vlogs, make sure you're following, make sure you're subscribed. I do appreciate you watching. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm.